Now, after Neo gave their guidance of delivering somewhere between 31 and 33,000 during their Q4 earnings as their guidance for Q1 of this year, so many of the investors really want to know. I have been receiving a lot of questions, investors wanting to know can Neo really pull the uh, the, the 12,900 vehicles plus uh, this month. Do I think it's possible? And uh, I think people are asking this, especially after we saw, of course, the NEV insurance registrations uh, that came, of course, on Tuesday, which showed the NEO having 2,000, which was not a good number, I must say. And as now people are starting to really think if NEO will really, of course, get to delivering uh, between 12,900 to, fo to 14,900 deliveries, which do I still think it's possible? And I think yes, because ladies and gents, um, you will know that uh, those deliveries, we can safely say the 2000 are for the first week of March, because the deliveries of the week prior to that, they were a mixture of mostly uh, February and a bit of March delivery. So uh, these 2000 were officially the first week, I think, of March, which therefore means that we are still left with three weeks until we get, of course, uh, the full uh, March deliveries, meaning that we are still to get the NEV insurance registration for this week, which hopefully they are better than the 2000 we received uh, uh, this week for last week's uh, insurance registrations. I'm hoping for the best, but the good thing is that I think we, we, we cannot safely say based on those uh, first weeks or this week's uh, NEV insurance, those first week's NEV insurance registrations, NEO might not meet their target uh, I think rather let's wait to see what at least uh, this week and next week uh, NEV insurance registrations will be like. I mean, you will know that uh, what usually happens with the NEV insurance registrations is that uh, at the last week of the month, we usually see more, of course, insurance registration figures, which is something that, of course, always boosts the deliveries or the monthly deliveries. I know, I know that these, uh, of course, NEV insurance registrations uh, don't reflect the actual sales but they at least give a guidance on what to expect come the day that neo of course give us their uh, previous month deliveries which is usually the beginning of each month so i think or i still think there's hope we can see neo uh, delivering of course uh, within the uh, delivery target or within their guidance which I, 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 yeah, I'm still hopeful, man, because these three weeks, anything can happen. Neo sales can be boosted. I mean, we've been seeing Neo introducing some developments, trying to boost their deliveries. You will know that those that buy the 2024 models uh, for this month, they get free Neo phones. You will know that those that subscribe to Barca, ladies and gents, they are now going to get a discount, which will attract people coming into bus. But the, the, the phone business or the phone or neo phone, ladies and gents, those that buy the 2024 models, they are going to get the neo phones for this month, which is, I think, a good initiative and it can attract the neo customers or neo potential customers to want to come and buy the neo cars. Now, you will know that these 2024 models that neo is selling, Price-wise, they did not change or increase the prices. They are keeping the prices exactly where the 2023 models were, which is something that I think it is pretty acceptable and good because, ladies and gents, the same price that you were paying for an ET5 Touring is the same price you would pay for the ET5 Touring, but with the 2024, of course, updates. This is something that is pretty good, pretty exciting, and I think with all these uh, initiatives that neo is uh, introducing trying to of course boost sales i think they will work and uh, over and above these initiatives i mean to know of the kind of features the latest features that you are able to get with the 2024 models though it is software based i mean the the response uh, i mean we've seen a couple of videos of some of the new users testing the response or between how fast the new neo 2024 models are responding based on the previous uh, 2023 models and we are seeing that they are super fast response is fast there are upgrades there are more features which is something that of course this again 
it is supposed to attract consumers to come and buy the neo cars so can neo still make the over 12,000 or around 13,000 deliveries i think yes can neo go over 14,900 deliveries or deliver around 15,000 deliveries i don't know about that but i know that neo can still make at least the 12,900 which they set for themselves during their queue for earnings i think we just have to wait and see how the name insurance registrations unfold but i think they can make it through or they can make the target which whether we get to see it coming towards the lower side of their guidance or upper side I think that will time will tell as the nerve insurance registrations come. I think by the time we are left with one week so nerve insurance registration, we should know where if whether we will make it towards the lower side of their guidance or towards the upper side of the guidance, which is 14,100. I think we'll be able to decide then, but as it stands, we still don't know. But it, I know it looks scary, especially with the 2,000 nerve insurance registrations we received for the first week of march yeah i will just have to see but i hope for the best but i hope for the best and i think neo can pull this through otherwise with all that guys i just thought i'd just give you these quick updates and just respond to some of the questions that i've been seeing them coming a lot in the comment box in the videos that i do so i just thought i should just say what i think about the deliveries or the march deliveries if neo will still meet or not which i think they will so that at least i can just ease the panic because i see some of the investors have started to panic when it, when it comes to the march deliveries otherwise uh, i make tons and tons of stock market investing videos and if you think that this video was amazing please don't forget with the likes button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise it is always wise that you do your own dd before you of course uh, decide to buy more f buy for the first time or sell your shares because neo is a quite a volatile stock and the share price wise we are still down but hopefully we'll recover in the near future otherwise that's all from me and god bless you all